Oh, animation, special effects. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to another episode of How the Heck Do I Do That with Canvas. Uh, today's episode concentrates on a question that Amanda Smith had asked me about how you get information or content from one Canvas course to another Canvas course. And uh, after the fancy transition, we'll see exactly how to As do that. It turns out there are three different ways you can get information from one Canvas course to another. Uh, the first way is to use the place called the Commons, which is uh, not like our Commons, though it's just as confusing if you ask me. There's, uh, you can take stuff, you export it to this magical place called the Commons, and then you can import it into another course. I find it kind of tricky to use. There's a lot of options to check. It, it, it bothers me when I'm trying to use it. It's, it's not my favorite way. The best time to use that would be if uh, somebody at another school has a great lesson or module that they want you to use. Then they could export it to the Commons and you can find it. If you do choose that option, please give it a very specific name and a lot of tags so it's easy to find. You've got to use a search option in the Commons to find other content. And that's where it gets a little bit confusing for me. If there's an entire course that you want and it's from somebody else, you can export a Canvas course into a proprietary file format. That just means a special type of file that can then be read by Canvas and turned back into a Canvas course. This is useful if there is an old Canvas course that no longer exists, but you still have an exported file. Uh, you can then import that file. I use that for the eighth grade class that we're teaching because uh, they went from Canvas to no Canvas this year, but we all like the Canvas version of the course better. Finally, there is import existing content. And obviously, since this one is blue and yellow, that's going to be the uh, option that I like the best and that I choose most often. So let's take a look at how to do that. Remember, you're using Google Chrome uh, or Safari. You're not using Internet Explorer. We're not even using Firefox that much. That's how unhip Firefox has become. Oh, look, there's Canvas. Let's go to the dashboard. Uh, let's look at my robotics master course. This is where I keep all my good stuff that I want to use year after year. I made this course myself. I'll show you how to do that in another video. In my robotics master course, let's just pretend that I don't have unit two stepping up your game. I happen to have it because this is my second time trying to make this video. Uh, so let's go back and look where that unit first is. I have in the current version of this robotics course, a unit two stepping up your game. That's something I just created this fall. It's a new unit. It happens to be going well, so I want to now import that module into my master course where I keep all my good stuff. So I'm going to choose my master course. I'm going to go down here to settings. And then on the right hand side, import course content. I think I said import existing content in the, the title. Uh, I apologize for that. So. Content type is a Canvas course, copy a Canvas course. I'm going to select the course, and that was my Robotics Fall 1718 course. I only want specific content. And I'm going to adjust the events and due dates. If there's any due dates in that or anything on the calendar, I'm just going to say remove it all so I don't have to worry about screwing up my new class with old dates from last trimester. And then I'm going to click Import. Now don't panic, it still lets you select the content right there. So I noticed and had to fiddle with this the other day working with Mr. Thomas, uh, we tried checking the box and that actually gives you all 13 of these modules. Be very careful, get the arrow, drop down, there's unit two stepping up your game. I can select that content and now it is importing and I have to think of something witty to say while we're waiting for the blue bar. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, I'll tell you something. This morning on NPR, they said that the uh, oceans, the world's oceans, were becoming way more acidic. And I thought to myself, that's a real baseless accusation to make. But on bump. Shh. All right, so let's go back now to uh, my modules in this course. And you now see at the bottom, Unit 2, Stepping Up Your Game, has been added. So I was able to take a module from one class and just import it into another class. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later for the next episode of How the Heck Do I Do That with Canvas.